Okay, so yesterday you did a 2.2, excuse me, 2.1. Today you guys are going to be working on 2.2. Yesterday was multiplying and estimating with a one-digit number. Today is going to be multiplying and estimating with a two-digit number. So multiply by a two, by two digits. Okay, please make sure you um, pause and play when necessary. Not, are not, notes are not going to take that long. Just wanted to kind of quickly go over this. And we're going to go straight to our workbook. So again, the big thing you need to remember is when you are estimating, okay, it's rounding without rules, just like before. You wanna make sure to see if you can make your numbers make easy to multiply. Okay, you want to make your numbers um, with as many zeros as possible. Make numbers with zeros. You want to be able to solve these problems in like 10 seconds or less. Not hard. Okay, so for example, let's just do this one real, real quickly. So if you want to look at, um, let's say 534 times 25. Okay, you are gonna have to find the actual answer. So be careful when you're doing this, make sure you're slowing down, working on your numbers since, okay? So we could say 534. Again, we're making it easy to multiply and making numbers with zero. I can make this easily 500. So then the question is, do I wanna go up or down? I mean, you're not wrong either way. You went down on here, so if maybe you wanna go up here to 30, that's fine. Again, I wanna to try to use a 30 because again, it's so super easy when you have zeros at the end. So just mark them off. What's left? Five times three is 15. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. Same thing as before with one digit. Now you've got two digits. So you still wanna make this bottom number right here, um, this bottom factor, be able to uh, multiply um, by zero or using zero. So then you do your actual Multiplication, five times four is 20. Carry my two, five times three or five times 30. That's your distributive property. Five times 30 plus two is um, 17 or 170. Five times five is 25 plus one more is 26. Adding my zero, because I'm really doing 20 times four and 20 times four is really 80. Two times four is, excuse me, two times three is six. Five times two is 10, zero. And that's 15 carry, 13 carry, 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, comma. Okay, yes, they are a couple thousand off, but again, you went up and you went down. So there's going to have to be some, um, so now if you were to do it 500 times 20, mark your zeros off, 5 times 2 is 10, adding your three zeros. And again, if you were to gone down that way, so there's 10,000 and here's 13,000. So either way is fine. You just have to make sure it's a reasonable, okay? So it's still 2,000 off, still 3,000 off, okay? All right. For another example, you can have 126 times 52, okay? This one has multiple ones, and the reason why I say multiple ones is when you're looking at that 12, you can leave that 120 times 50. Why, you ask? Well, if I mark this off, do you know what 12 times 5 is? Yes, it is 60. Then you have two zeros. Is there a different one you could have done? Absolutely. You could have changed this to what? What do you think you could have? In your mind, think about what you could have changed that to. Well, that's easy. 100. Could have changed 52 to a 50 because that's super close. Take off my three zeros. What's left? One times five is five. Adding my two zeros. Oh, let's try that. Three zeros, Miss White. 5,000. The actual answer. So you're going to go for the actual answer. Six times two is 12. Carry my one. Two times two is four. You need to be able to do it as fast as I am. I know that I'm going fast. But the better and more rep repetition you're getting, and the, um, these facts are solidified, the easier and faster you can go as well. 
2 times 2 is 4, this one more is 5, 2 times 1 is 2. 5 times, or 50 times 6 is 300, see my 3 up here, my zero. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 3 is 13, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 more is 6. 2, 5, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3. So 6,552 is my actual answer. 6,000 was one of my estimates, 5,000 is my other. Again, making those as zeros as possible, and the same thing as before, and yesterday is your 2.1, okay? So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna get out your workbook, and you're gonna turn to page 60, 62, okay? You're gonna turn to page 62. At this point, I'm gonna stop and allow you to get your workbook out, press pause, and then we'll start working together on page 62. And look, let's look at question number three. Okay, right here, we've got question number three on page 63, excuse me, 62 and 63. Again, there's two steps, estimating and then finding the product. Okay, so you're gonna estimate. So again, either way, you've got room on either side. I'm just gonna write it here. 24 can be moved to 20, 15, if you'd like to stay at 15, you can. And the reason why I say that is look right here. Marking off one zero, what's left? We've got 15 times two, that's 30 and one zero. Over here, let me show you another way if you were to change both. You could change this to 20 and this to 10. Take off my zeros, two times one is two, add my two zeros, okay? So I know that you're like, well, but, but sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. It's up to you, it's whatever is easiest. I was able to solve, 2 times 15 in less than 10 seconds, or less than 5 seconds, seconds actually, then I've got 2 times 1. So it depends on your comfort level on how much you want to change your numbers and what is the easiest for you to multiply. So my either one, I'm going to just say 300. Now it comes to the actual because it says find the product. 4 times 5 is 20. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 more is 12. 1 times 4 is 4, or 10 times 20 is 200. Okay, 360. So really and truly, this one right here is right. Could I have changed it and done 20 times 20? Absolutely. And that would give me 400, which probably is a better estimate than this right here. But again, it's just 100 away as just well as the other one. Okay, let's move to number 5. You've got 384 and 40, I'm sorry, and 45, okay? So, a couple of options here. You can make this to be 400 times, since you went up, you might wanna go down on this one. Again, there's no rules, because I'm sure you're thinking, well, could I have done 400, I'm sorry guys, times 50? Sure you could have. I know this is extra work, I apologize guys. This is really hard to write on. So it's take my zeros off, leaving me with 16, adding my three zeros, 16,000. Over here, I could have taken my three zeros off. Five times four is 20, leaving me with three zeros. So I'm hoping my answer is gonna be between 16 and 20,000. So my actual answer, again, depending on your comfort level and which one you chose, I'm gonna write 16,000. My multiplication is four times five is 20, carry my two. 5 times 8 is 40, plus 2 minus 42. Okay. 3 times 5 is 15, plus 4 more is 19. That's 16, carry my 1. 8 times five, uh, 4 is 32. 33. 33. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 3 more is 18. Sorry, this is terrible. Okay. Ooh, I got something wrong on this one. So hang on one second. All right, let's look at page 64. We've got the number question, excuse me, question number 22. It says, in a locker, you find the ultimate puzzle book with 385 pages. There's also a clue leading to you to another locker. Multiply the number of pages by 23 to get the code for the next locker. What is the code? At this point, you can walk with me or you can press pause and do this problem and then see what I got. 
but it literally is telling you 385 times 23. Again, I know why I'm not um, estimating is because that I do not have any numbers that are ending in zero. So I know this is looking for an actual answer. So five times three is 15. Carry my one, three times eight is 24, plus one more is 25. Carry my two, three times three is nine, 10, 11. Two times five is 10, carry my one. Eight times two is 16, plus one more is 17. Carry my one, three times two is six, plus one more is seven. So five, five, eight, eight. Therefore, my answer is D. All right, perfect. Number 23 is an estimating question. Which estimate will help you solve this multiplication problem? Okay, you need to look and see what are my options. So first of all, 246 times 17. Okay, so this right here has got 200. Oh, sorry. 200 times 10. Okay, so that's going down. And the question is 17 closer to 10 or is it closer to 20? It's closer to 20. That's why I believe that this one is gonna be C, because 246 does not need to be rounded up to 300. 200 is way closer than 300 if you're at 246. That's not quite half. Halfway between 200 and 300 is 250. All right, let's look at number 24. Charlie worked 45 hours this week. He earned $12 per hour. If he spent 134 for a new bike, how much money does he have left? So if he spent, excuse me, worked 45 hours and then he made $12, $12 per hour, you're gonna have to multiply the hours he worked plus his pay. Again, these do not end in zeros like these do right here, okay? So you're gonna have an actual answer. So five times two is 10 plus one. Five times, excuse me, four times two is eight plus one more is nine. Five times one is five. Five times, excuse me, four times one is four. So he made 540. So is that my answer? What do I do now? Well, being that that's not my answer, I need to go back and look at the, look at the question. He worked 45 hours this week. He earned $12 per hour. If he spent 134 for his new bicycle, how much money does he have left? This is not how much money he had left, this is how much he purchased, or excuse me, made. So he purchased something. He purchased something for $134. If you have something and you purchase, are you taking or adding to your pocket? Well, last I know, I'm taking money out of my pocket when I purchase something. So 134 is subtracted from 540, six, zero, and four. So my answer is $406. And sloths, excuse me, number 25, a sloth's maximum speed in the ground is 15 feet in one minute. Even though it would be unlikely for a sloth to stay in motion for more than a few moments, how far would a sloth travel in 45 minutes at that speed? Okay, so the question is, how far will he travel in 45 minutes? Well, I know 15 minutes, excuse me, 15 feet is one minute. So 45 minutes, I've got to figure out. So I'm gonna multiply, and I know I'm multiplying. Why? Because I'm starting off with 45 minutes and I'm going larger. All of these numbers are larger than 45, okay? So I'm gonna do 45 times 15. Oops, excuse me. Five times five is 25, carry my two, that's 20 plus two more is 22, five, four, five, seven, six, 675. At this point, you're gonna start working on your gold pages. If you notice on your gold pages on page 65, do not tear this out yet, look at it. You have two things, you're estimating and then you're finding the product. So there's two things that you'll be doing, sorry. Okay, you've got word problems at the bottom of 13 and 14. If you need to use notebook paper, please use notebook paper. In actuality, if I were to do this one on here by myself, I would change 34 to 30 and 12 to 10. Could I leave it as 12? Absolutely I could. Because I would take that off and say three times 12 is 36. Or 
I could go ahead and move it to 10. So that would be three times one is three. Okay, so it, you may not have enough room, guys. So it's not gonna hurt you to use a piece of notebook paper. So I want both answers, estimating and then the actual answer. 13 and 14, okay, those are word problems. And then you have your six word problems on the back. Please feel free to ask for help. Doing nothing is not an option. When you are done, you need to turn it into the file folder. Make sure you're, you have checked your name off and you need to be working on any extension or extra practice opportunity. But once again, the big thing is you're multiplying by two digit numbers and you're estimating and finding the product. Again, trying to make your numbers end in zeros because they're the quickest and easiest to multiply. Estimating is rounding without rules. So go ahead, make sure you're working quietly. You may put your iPad away or keep it out in case you need some extra help.